you know, something must be wrong when almost every single song has sex as its basis. When rap stars get famous after making lyrics that are shameless. When a woman is expected to sleep with a man who doesn't even know what her name is. And when artists are paid to degrade the very woman that have made them. To the point they are nothing more than pieces of plastic that we can dispose of once they are no longer attractive. It's sickening and sadistic that this world's become so misogynistic. And you can call me unrealistic, but just listen to the statistics. 7 in 10 men view porn while over 75 million are addicted. 68 million requests a day for pornographic pictures making 1 in 4 searches sexually related. It's like nobody even knew she existed until she got naked, degraded and abused over and over again just to gain millions of views. It's a shame we've subdued to a definition of beauty which is so misconstrued as we judge each other's looks off of Facebook likes, Instagram pictures to filter off what we really look like. See, we are so obsessed with our outside, we have slowly lost sight of who we really are in real life. I mean, it's sad to see so many teens lose their self-esteem. Looking at these magazines thinking they have to look like what they see. Please, you are worth much more than a 2D image on a screen. You are a living, breathing human being. If only you knew what you really mean. Just look into your history books and begin to read. Of all the girls in the world who are capable to achieve and you will surely see with certainty. Females like Fatim Al Fihri, who opened the first ever university, Rufaid Al Aslamiya, the first nurse to perform surgery, and Haisha bint Abi Bakr, the greatest female scholar in eternity. It's a shame you probably haven't even heard of these great female prodigies. Honestly, we don't need to give up our modesty in order to be successful. For you are worth much more than a commodity that is sexual. You have so much more potential if only you knew your worth. You could be like the greatest of all women to have walked this earth, like Mary the mother of Jesus, chosen by Allah to be an example for the believers, a woman who stood strong even when she was abused, falsely accused and ridiculed for things she'd never ever do, so it didn't really matter when there was nobody else beside her, for she knew that God was Ar razaq and her ultimate provider, and she had a trust in him alone. Just like Asiya, the wife of Fir'aun, a woman who was brave and courageous, stood up for what was right and didn't let anybody change this, a woman who was fearless and laughed in the face of death, for she gave up the riches of this life for a palace in the next. Next up Khadija, the mother of the believers, a wealthy merchant who had nurtured the prophet for over 25 years, his first wife, the love of his life and the mother of his kids. She was the first to believe in him when nobody else ever did. She just is beyond any words that can make you understand. So much so that even Allah sent her his salam. She was grand and Allah assured her. Just like her daughter, Fatima, the master of all women in paradise. A woman who would shine so bright she was nicknamed as Zahra, the splendid one with the most generous of hearts. A woman who gave up so much of her food she had no choice but to fast. She would fight on behalf of her father even as a little girl. And such are the examples of the greatest woman in the entire world and it had nothing to do with how they looked but for who they truly were. So ignore the standard of success defined by society when God has said that the best of mankind are those who have piety, regardless of your shape, your color or your race. For God does not look at your bodies nor does he look at your face, rather he looks towards your heart and checks your faith. So at the end of the day, it doesn't matter what the people say or who they think you are when you could be like the greatest of all women in the eyes of Allah. The greatest woman.